Hi there, Joker here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a, a few projects that I've created with uh, Jana's um, Anemone Blooms collection from Spa Binders. Um, here are some of the products from the collection. I don't have all of them. Um, I was a bit late to the party. Um, but this one is a dye set. Um, you can use that two different ways. Um, and then there's the uh, glimmer plate and I believe this also has a coordinating die but I didn't um, receive it so um, I'm not actually sure but I think there are plenty more um, products in the collection then there are these die cut um, words uh, or sentiments which are always great and these are my favorite kind of um, dies I rarely like stamping sentiments <laughs> so I like uh, die cut ones and then there are also these um, glimmer sentiments that I do like um, I like to create a lot of them at um, at a time and then I have sentiments on 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 hand and these are really great because they are there there's one liners there's uh, longer ones so um, many options. So uh, starting my first card, I'm going with uh, slimline cards, which are eight and a half by three and a half inches. And then um, I created a, a dark green panel there um, that is a little bit smaller. So let's say maybe three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then I die cut the flower from heavyweight white cardstock twice so I'm going to add one at the top and uh, one at the bottom and as you can see I actually added the whole thing I did not um, want to bother taking out the um, all the little pieces uh, one because the the outlines are very skinny so um, gluing those I, I feel a bit um, that, that's a bit difficult and also because I really like the look of adding the uh, color cardstock on top um, I don't know if you will be able to pick it up here but in real life it makes such a difference I really like that look um, so I, I think it was also easier but uh, I also prefer this look than um, you know the inlay the like the traditional inlay technique and besides the um, um you see here that the leaves are in the color that your uh, outline die cut is but i did not want them to be white so i die cut those pieces um from green cardstock and then I'm, i just trimmed off the edges and I kind of puzzle it um, together um, just to add more color you know and uh, I used two different greens for for this and then for the flowers some corals and um, for the other flower I think I'm gonna use some um, purple shades or magenta and then um, I hope that I actually feel these in the right way so the middle um, I added some super dark um, gray and then there were uh, some leaves that I felt like they are um, bent um, and then you see the you know either the inside or the outside part as well and that they should be a different shade of the same color so um that's high um that, that's high plan to color them so to say um this actually doesn't take uh very long even though it might look like it but there's not a lot of uh well you don't have to die cut this a lot of times um to feel the whole thing um i'm sorry about my voice it's uh 
yeah, I'm, <laughs> why not? I uh, caught some, some bug. Um, my boyfriend was um, away f- last weekend for like a men's weekend, a long weekend. And this is the gift that he brought me home. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had fever the other day. Now it's just my throat that's really not great. But I really wanted to do this video because I've been waiting for, um, I'm, I've been waiting with the voiceover for so long now. Um, I really wanted to upload it finally. Um, so you see the other flower, I uh, did the exact same way, the opposite side. And then I'm just going to add this beautiful sentiment. It's quite large um, and I love the font. It's so so pretty and um, then I'm just going to add a few enamel dots to to finish this off um, not sure if I needed them but you know that I like using them and you know I, I have so many I might as well use them um, and then the other two cards I also decided to go with um, slimline cards. Um, I do prefer, uh, you know, in, in the same video, I do prefer uh, creating the same card format. Um, not always, but most of the time, just because I'm going to fo- photograph them together and I feel like they look better that way. Um, so, the ne- second one, well, I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to use the glimmer plate, even though I really, I really <laughs> suck at um, foiling. Um, and yes, I, I did manage to mess this up as well. I think um, I, I really would need to um, practice a bit more. And by that, I mean, I really need to figure out how many... Um, layers of paper I need for shim to um, not underfoil, which is what I'm going to do with the flowers. Again, uh, with the sentiments, I'm going to overfoil. Um, so I, I don't know, I just don't have the patience, you know, but then I decided to make it work anyway. I mean, it's it, it's mostly nice, but <laughs> some parts are a bit um, underfoiled, uh, which is why I actually created a second a second one um, and I, I added a bit more um, layers of paper but I think uh, even so it didn't work and you see the sentiments on the sides uh, of the paper they are overfoiled but it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use the that part so otherwise I'm really so happy with this white foil um, I finally don't have to emboss <laughs> because I always mess up embossing uh, on dark background so I'm happy about the white foil and so instead of uh, because I don't have the the coordinating die I'm just uh, quickly fussy cutting this um, it's really not difficult it's an easy uh, shape and then I'm going to add color in the background since I now just have a, a like a green uh, flower so and I need colors you know so I um, cut a few strips of papers um, the same colors that I used on the first card and um, I just cut the uh, cut these with my trimmer so they are most likely not the exact same size Um, but there are dies for this, there's um, even from spa binders, there's um, some strip dies um, from spa binders. It comes with three different sizes of strips, um, but I wanted to just use this thinner one. So it's quick and um, easy to, to do this. And I have so many left. Uh, after this project that I end up um, 
creating a second, uh, well, in fact, a third card. So um, I added a bunch of uh, the strips at the top and then I want to leave a white space under it so that I can add um, a die cut sentiment there. And I also wanted to use one of these larger um, or like longer sentiments at the bottom because I really like that look. And on a huge card like this, uh, there's plenty of space for uh, adding something longer like that. So then I trim off the uh, edges here and then I add the panel to my um, card base. And this again, this one is such a quick and simple card. Um, I sometimes I feel bad when I make something so quick. I mean, quick for, for, for me, like quicker than what I normally do is what I mean. Um, and then I decided to add this hello die cut. The other ones were a bit too long or they would have only worked if I had two words, but then I didn't have space for that. Um, so in the end, I just ended up using the hello die cut. And then I placed the flower over you know, a, a bit over the white area and a bit over the striped area. And then I'll add a few enamel dots here just because it's too much white for me, I guess. And then at the top, just a few white ones. And then that's it. And then I'm moving on to the next card. So you see that I have quite a few strips left. So um, this time I'm going to cover the whole background and I am going at an angle this time. So uh, super easy. Uh, I know I could just cover the whole background with um, double sided, sided adhesive or something. But I like, I don't know, sometimes I like this mindless kind of work, you know. And I prefer to add um, liquid adhesive for my um, strips. I, I, I don't know. I just trust this adhesive much more than anything else. Um, when it comes to paper, again, I have to um, I have to add that. When it comes to paper on paper, then I prefer liquid um, adhesive. So. In the well, kind of the middle, I'm adding uh, the sentiment, uh, and, I'm, and I'm adding it in the color that's behind it, kind of. Uh, so it's tone on tone, and then I die cut. Uh, uh, I think three uh, of these flowers, just from white heavyweight cardstock, and here I'm actually uh, adding just the outline, and. Um, I'm not going to do anything else with it. It's kind of like a, a lace, or that was my idea, that I cover the stripes uh, with a white lace, and then I'm adding the the you know the pieces that I just trimmed off at the edges. I'm adding those back, so basically I don't need to die cut the flower again to fill those uh, spots because I will have a lot of followaways I just have to um, you know sometimes just separate some of the leaves and then um, fill up that all the edges it's simple to do and I always like um, how that turns out um, so that's going to be my panel again quite simple also doesn't take that long because it doesn't require a whole lot of die cutting, um, layering or inlaying, you know, all the things that I normally like to do. And by the way, I use these colors on some future projects that I will post next month. And I fell in love with them so much that I had to, and besides they were next to me, you know, I always mention that I'm quite lazy. I tend to use the cardstock that I, that is all like on top of the pile. Um, 
So I had these there and I really liked the combination. So I simply went with the same color. So don't be surprised that I'm going to have more projects with the same uh, colors. Um, yeah, that's gonna be the whole entire card basically. And just for some additional texture or a different texture, uh, I am going to add a few enamel dots again. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, I'm trying to find something to say because I, I don't, honestly, this is probably boring to look at um, and there's really not much explaining to do here, but um, there's really nothing I can talk about. <laughs> the weather today, it was actually really beautiful um, and I love that the days are getting longer there's more daylight and um, yeah, today was sunny, finally. Um, I really miss the sun. Okay, so uh, now that I covered it, or I, so I thought, <laughs> I'm just adding the really tiny, tiny uh, little leaves in every um, opening. I never know when it's too busy or, you know, um, but I think that turned out okay. Um, oh, and while I'm doing this, uh, there's always so many questions about this uh, foam tape. I buy it in a local um, office supply store. Uh, and so that is Germany. They don't deliver um, internationally. Um, so I, this is why I never mention it or never link it in the description box. But you can buy in the States from Scotch. Uh, that's what I used to use as well. Um, although that's, that only comes in one size. That means one thickness and one width, I think. At least that's what I um, used to find. But maybe you can uh, check some big office supply store they might have their own brand this seems to be the one that I have seems to be uh, this store's own brand as well and you know if something is available in Germany it's definitely available in the US um, <laughs> that's our biggest problem actually that nothing is available here um, when it comes to craft supplies is what I mean so here are the enamel dots that I mentioned. Um, I'm just adding white. Unfortunately, at the bottom, I don't have a lot of space between the f uh, flowers. So there's not a lot of enamel dots going on there, but it is what it is. So I'm pressing these in uh, place and then all the cards are done. I hope I could give you um, maybe some different ideas with these uh, or with this collection. It's such a gorgeous uh, collection. Um, yeah, that's it for today. And then uh, I'm not sure. Um, maybe I'm coming back with the March kits, or maybe I'll have some time to play with some other things in the meantime. I don't know. I will see. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.